We're going to talk about tonight, going to talk about ghosts. Now, the reality of ghosts, yeah. <laughs> now, the reality of ghosts is a whole, is a controversial subject in itself. A lot of people say they don't exist. Uh, people say they do exist. People make, get supposed photographs. There's, there's a whole lot of stuff that's wrong with these, the thing here. I don't have evidence for that the ghosts don't exist, but I don't have any evidence that ghosts do exist. I've seen a lot of strange things over the years. Uh, some recent, some old, well, over 10 years old. And so my my uh, opinion on this is a little mixed. But there are also people out there that uh, think that they have ghost detecting equipment. There's no, we we don't have a ghost in captivity that's going to say, okay, we're going to, you, we're going to get the probe out, out and we're going to test to see how well it, it, it affects you. We just, there's, there's no equipment for this. So if you're thinking about buying some ghost equipment or ghost checking equipment online, don't. Save your money. Please save sure. your money. Give it to me. Donate it to the show. <laughs> And if you have a comment on this, you know, leave it in the comment section below here on YouTube, and uh, we'll read those on uh, next week's show. Uh, but for now, uh, Crystal, what what is your opinion on ghosts, and you know, uh, biblical or otherwise? And your time starts now. Oh, thank you. Um, first of all, I guess I got to return my ghost busting equipment I just ordered <laughs> online. <Durr>. Um, <laughs> no, I, I personally myself do not believe in ghosts. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that um, if there is not any. Um, you certainly may believe that, and I support your right to do so. Mm -hmm. I personally do not believe in ghosts myself. Um, our, my religion, and the way I believe, is why when you do pass, when you die, that you do either go to heaven or, or to hell, and there's no spirits walking this earth per se. So I would have to just say no. Mm. I do not believe in ghosts. Okay. But what about the uh, Holy Ghost? You believe in the Holy Ghost, right? Well, I think that's interchangeable as far as the word ghost in the Bible. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I do not believe that it is a ghost. Per mm. A ghost. No. But I do believe in, in, in God. I believe, I believe in God, and I do believe in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But not in the ghost sense. But not, not that type of ghost. Okay. Yes, exactly. All right. And you have about uh, 45 seconds. you want to use it more or no? I think I'm done. Okay. <laughs> and she's short. Well, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm typing my return label. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you at least get the super saver shipper option from Amazon when you order all your ghost busting equipment? Well, you know I did. All right. <laughs> Good. Joe, uh, what is your opinion on ghosts? Uh, well, the time starts uh, now. <laughs> my friend Clayton uh, says that ghosts exist only when hallucinogenic mushrooms are involved. Uh, now I know what I've been doing wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have another friend, uh, him and his wife, they actually are kind of uh, those ghost hunters, like the amateur ghost hunters. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned uh, buying equipment online. Well, they bought a whole bunch of that kind of stuff online. They spent lots and lots of money on it. Mm -hmm. And they spend the night in uh, haunted places. They've actually gone down to Philadelphia and spent the night in this old abandoned prison called the Eastern State Penitentiary, cool. which is supposedly haunted. And uh, I, I guess, like, uh, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts do, like, jamborees there. And, uh, uh, you know, people can go there and tour it and everything. But that if you're a ghost hunter, that you can get special permission to spend the night and do your ghost detection, which is what they went and did. And uh, in my hometown of Carmel, New York, there's a, a, a small inn. It's been around since like the 1800s, and supposedly it's haunted. And if you go in there, the owner, Tony, will, will actually tell you the ghost stories of Smalley's Inn mm. and uh, produce photographs of people dining in his restaurant. And in the mirrors on the walls behind, you see flash bulbs from the camera. And he's like, look, see? See the orbs. It's the <laughs> orbs. Orbs. The orbs are... That's the ghost. That's the spook. <laughs> and uh, uh, my my friend and his wife, who were ghost ghost hunters, they actually spent several nights in this inn and uh, tried to detect ghosts. 
with their equipment. And uh, I would go there and intentionally take pictures, uh, angling myself in the mirrors to catch the flash. And then I would email the pictures to him and be like, look, look, an orb. And of course, <laughs> I would be reflected in the picture too, holding the camera. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so it was, it was clearly faked. And he would be like, dick. <laughs> his wife would be like you're such an unbeliever I'm like yeah I know <laughs> and, and that's time uh, Wayne what is your take on ghosts oh ghosts 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 uh, I think it's a lot about the universe we don't really know or understand um, you know we we have a general sense of what goes on around us and our sort of physical reality what our eyes see and what our Senses, what, what our senses tell us about the universe, but there's also what goes on in the subconscious. You know, our brain is constantly trying to figure out the universe, either mm-hmm. through its senses or through actually sub subconscious thought. Um, and, and, the, and the universe is, uh, is is wondrous and complicated, and um, or, or maybe it's beautifully simple. You know, we don't really know. It's uh, we make some guesses, um, but we do know that based on the science, um, ghosts. Are are not a repeatable uh, experiment. We, right. We 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 don't have a, a way to summon you know a reliable way to summon a ghost, uh, to interrogate a ghost, to. Uh, uh, but that could just be a shortcoming of uh, our physical reality. Maybe uh, the, 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 in, in some sort of subconscious reality, uh, you know, ghosts are a little bit more uh, tangible, and we can talk to them and communicate. But maybe that's what we're doing. When we're bringing. Uh, mm. But but there are too many people actually see, and I've never had an experience with it. But but there are too many people who have these experiences for it to just be just sort of random um, people making it up. And some, something is happening. Uh-huh. So whether whether it's virtual particles and the brain is just interpreting it as ghosts, or you know, virtual particles is another one of these magic things of uh, modern science. Uh, uh, who knows? Yeah, it's a very interesting. Uh, I think the jury's still out. I'm with the. I think I'll keep it on that packer that the you know, jury is out, um, and uh, let people and, and like Crystal said, let people believe what they want to believe for now. Yeah, until people we know more different. Yeah, absolutely. And people are going to believe whatever they want. Uh, I don't like when they attribute too much detail to it. Like people who really don't they understand what ghosts are. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm going to say that you don't understand what they are if you think you do. <laughs> Right, you know, and you, I'm, you're right. They, I don't know what they are, and I, I, anybody that claims that they do know what they are, I mean, they say that they get off this uh, technical equipment, uh, electromagnetic cold spots. There's no proof that a ghost actually caused it. It could just be a bad heater, bad electrical lines. Could be wind blowing in from the uh, window that you didn't know it was open. Anything. So. Uh, would love to see you hear your comments on this. Uh, so if you go to uh, you when you're here on YouTube, uh, put your s- comments in the section below. Or if you have a ghost story uh, you'd like to share with the rest of us, uh, please put it in there. We'll read those on the show next week.